Hello, everybody. We're in here, Joey the Truth Wagner, with you. Broncos fans, I know how you're feeling. And you, Broncos country, let's ride. Another win for the Denver Broncos. They defeat the LA Chargers on the road. And they are right in the middle of this crazy, wild, insane AFC wild card race. Right now, everybody, the Broncos are one of five teams in the conference that are currently at seven and six. If Buffalo ends up beating Cincinnati, then there will be six teams tied in the wild card at seven and six. This is bonkers. Welcome in, friends. Thank you so much for watching, excuse me, the post-game press conference, your post-game interview for Denver quarterback Russell Wilson as well as the head coach Sean Payton, everybody. Give us some love here, like the video, subscribe to the channel. If you appreciate us bringing these post-game pressers to you, the game wasn't overly pretty for Denver, but they did win it 24-7, and what helped a lot is that Justin Herbert left this game with a finger injury in the first half, did not return. So it was pretty much the rest of the way with Easton Stick. And the Denver defense is going to eat on Easton Stick all day long, and that's exactly what they did. Anyway, Russell was good. Not spectacular, but he was good. 21-33, 224 through the air, two touchdowns, one interception, passer rating of 91. Run game was Okay, Javante Williams had 66 yards rushing and a touchdown. Cortland Sutton had a touchdown catch. Denver was just good enough to win today. Is pretty much what they were. Were they great? No, they were good. They were fine. That's more than capable enough to win their sixth game in the last seven, get past the Justin Herbertless Chargers, and get a win on the road in division. Just a very business-like victory for Denver, and I guarantee that Russell and Sean Payton would say the same. Uh, and I'll say this, Chargers, it's over. With Brandon Staley, that head coach, it's, it's, it's over. It's over. Let him go. It's over. It's just, it's more obvious by the week that Brandon Staley has never been the answer at head coach, and he's been here th for you guys three years too long. Fire him. It's fine. Not, not everything works, and him, it just hasn't. It just has not worked. But in, anyway, everybody, it gets very interesting coming up here for the Denver Broncos. They play next Saturday, short week on the road at the Detroit Lions in primetime. We'll see. That's a very interesting matchup. A decent Denver defense going up against that Ben Johnson coached Lions offense with Jared Goff. Lions lost today, so they're coming off of a debilitating defeat. So we know they're going to be locked in and focused and ready to go. But Saturday night, next game for Denver at Detroit. We'll see how that goes, everybody. But for now, thank you so much for watching. Post-game presser for Russ and for Peyton. And we'll keep you updated on everything else that's happening on this Sunday in the National Football League. Everybody, God bless and have a good night.